Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily English Show. So The Daily English Show is back in Japan. We had a nice break for 10 days and now we're going to be here until next May. The town we're in is called Kuchan and this area is called Abutagun or Shiribeshi and the island is called Hokkaido. But the mountain closest to us is called Niseko Annapuri and the ski area is called Niseko. So that's why it's going to be the Daily English Show Niseko for the next six months. Wednesday is Mistake Day and I don't need to look too far to find mistakes around here. Let's start with a couple of signs I saw yesterday. Firstly, there is a buckwheat needle restaurant. I think they're selling noodles, so those E's should be O's. Another sign says, Welcome to Kuchan. They're missing an O on that sign. But I think it's really sweet of them to write a sign in a few different languages to make tourists feel welcome. Another mistake I found comes from a brochure. This brochure is for a company called Noask in Niseko and they do things like tours, lessons, rental equipment and they also have a bar and restaurant and it says dinner reservations accepted. That's a common mistake for native English speakers actually, confusing accept and accept. The pronunciation is similar, actually pretty much the same the way I say it, but the spelling and meaning is different. Here are some examples from my dictionary of how you can use except. We work every day except Sunday. They all came except Matt. I had nothing on except for my socks. And these are some examples for except. You just have to accept the fact that we're never going to be rich. It may take years to be completely accepted by the local community. The machine only accepts coins. So as you can see, accept and accept mean different things. And this sentence doesn't make sense. But they could say, we accept dinner reservations every day except Sunday. Kia ora, in stick news today there's a shortage of secondary school teachers in New Zealand. And according to a new survey, it's getting worse. The Post-Primary Teachers Association is a trade union in New Zealand. Yesterday they released the results of a survey, which they say shows New Zealand secondary schools are having serious troubles attracting and retaining qualified staff. About a quarter of high schools in New Zealand responded to the email survey. One principal said he was extremely concerned about the quantity and quality of applications in some areas, especially maths and science. Another school said they were forced to hire a 72-year-old teacher to head their technology department because finding qualified and able teachers was becoming next to impossible. And that was Stick News for Wednesday the 21st of November. Kia ora. You worried about being 30 already? You like being young? Yeah, but on the other hand, when you're older you're more confident and you don't really worry about what people think. I've enjoyed my 30s, more than my 20s. Yeah, much more. And I think my 40s will be even better. I'm looking forward to it. I can't believe I'm almost 30. Only one more year. Yeah, one of the good things about being young is that you can kind of get away with not knowing much about anything, but when you get to around 30 it's like, damn, I should know something about this. Yeah, I guess you realise that no one really knows much about anything and it doesn't really matter. Really? Mm. A state or situation in which something needed cannot be obtained in sufficient amounts. A. Quantity. B. Quality. C. Concerned. D. Shortage. E. Retain. Shortage. Continue to have. Keep possession of. Retain. Worried. Anxious. Concerned. 
a certain amount or number. Quantity the standard of something as measured against other things of a similar kind. Quality. And that was the Daily English Show. See you tomorrow. Bye.